Hey everybody. So of course I check my goats like a million times a day now that they are about to kid. I was down here just a little bit ago and Raven was standing in a corner with her face in the corner and she had some discharge hanging out of her bottom. So obviously her due date was a couple days ago. So we're expecting kids any second. I got the buck put up, Mr. Braveheart, and put some fresh hay down. And now I'm just gonna come down here and watch her for 20 minutes or so and just see if I need to be down here for a while or not. So obviously not active labor, but we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna put her in this nice clean stall and she has fresh hay. Typically when a goat is in active labor, you'll see them having contractions. It's very obvious. Their tail will go up. They'll be very focused and they'll get up and down a lot. So I don't see her doing that, but with her udder filled, cause it is full, her ligaments are gone and she's having discharge. I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty soon. <laughs> How are things going in here? Good. We've seen some contractions, so we're gonna get the rest of our stuff and get the get the boys down here. Me and Wilder are heading down. I guess it's Wilder and Maxie. Hey, you wanna come in? Me and you, buddy. <laughs> Do you like having that goat right there? So we just watched her have a couple of contractions. You need to be quiet. You might need to take him upstairs soon. So she is wanting to be with the other goats. I had put them out. Well, maybe you will be separated then. <laughs> Raven. I'm gonna put you back in here. Come on. This is your birthing stall, girl. This is how we do it here. <laughs> I am literally sitting here nursing because my goat's in labor. I want to make sure it goes well, but my baby's freaking out. You can do it, Mama. Here comes the baby. Yeah. Good job, Mama. Hey, what? Hey, what? We need you. You have to whisper. Can you whisper? Okay, we're looking for feet and a nose. Two feet and a nose. I'm hoping that's what we see. Yes, I see, can I see a hoof? Yes, mama. I see one hoof. And it's sideways, that's a little concerning. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go in. Typically, it'll be two, ho two hooves on top of each other and a little nose coming behind it and I'm just seeing one hoof. I wish Arthur was here. way back so I finally got it pulled it front ways and pulled the baby out but okay. after a rough birth especially for a first freshener they may not bond so I'm gonna take baby to mommy come on baby If she's not bonding soon, let's get some molasses and put it on the baby. Start licking. Yeah. What do you think about that? So she is doing no licking. She just seems very perplexed. So I'm just going to put a little molasses on the baby. I'm just gonna put some molasses on the baby and see if that will get her more interested. That's right. I should start thinking about names. Do go. I get to name it since we do it? Sure. <laughs> Plus that'll give her some energy too. Yeah, there's a nice contraction. Come on. Let's get this next baby out. but a couple times she's acted like she was having more um, contractions. Good job, Mama. That was epic. You did so good. Baby's nursing. 
we'll have to make sure she does both teeth so she doesn't get hurt. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to milk her right away. We can just milk it into something. And get Good job. Nice. Don't let your baby nurse. You're not quite at the teeth. <laughs> You're getting close. Getting closer. You're so close. You're so close. Keep going. <laughs> you're so close. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, you're so close. We've already watched that movie. We were watching it twice. Like we're on the second time right now. That's fine. Come on. Get it in your mouth. There you Are go. You gonna take care of the line, the cord from the placenta? Yeah, we will in a second. Has she had the placenta yet? No. That might mean she's going to have a baby. Uh, it's been a while. I don't think she is. I have dirt on my face, of course. Mama and baby are doing really well. I will be relieved once the placenta passes. Um, since I had to go in, I'm going to have to watch her really closely for infection. So I'll be taking her temperature daily. And I'll need to get some antibiotics to give her antibiotics because anytime you go into the goat, then that's possibility of infection. So next thing we're gonna do is give the baby some selenium. We're in a selenium deficient area. It's pretty easy to find out if you are. You can just call your vet or a vet. You can also look online. We're gonna go ahead and do a few things. We're gonna um, dip baby's corn in iodine. So I just filled this cup with iodine and I'm just gonna dip the cord. There we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So I'm gonna give this selenium now. I'm gonna look at how much newborn is two milliliters. And squeeze that in there. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yuck. Ugh, it's a girl. Oh, yeah. So your name is Lucky. I want to keep it forever. I it's know. so sweet. Good job, Mama. Mm -hmm. Give her some grain and some molasses for some quick energy. Come on. Sit on that step. And bond and learn each other. Oh, is another one gonna have a go baby go right now? Not right now, another day. Right there. Right there. Do y'all want to see the new baby? Mm -hmm. Okay, one at a time. I'm gonna send them brighten out and then y'all can. What? We just watched the baby goat today. We don't. No, go. We always watch these. They're outside in the pasture. Oh. We're gonna go out there. Say see you in the morning. I'll come check on you guys in just a little bit. <laughs> Alright, come on. I'll come back down here in a minute. I just want to get everyone settled. Well, successful birth. It's <laughs> I have to say it was a little nerve wracking to have to go in and pull the baby, but I'm glad I did. The leg was bent back, so I don't think she could have birthed it that way. I just pulled that leg forward, pulled the baby out, and it ended really, really well. Oh, where did it go? There it is. So I ran up to the house to grab the camera because she was just about to pass her placenta. And there it is. We'll see if she eats it. It's very normal for goats to eat their placenta after birth. I have read though that if they're like paying more attention to the placenta than the baby, then you should take the placenta away. But I am so surprised that she only had one kid. I really, I really thought she would have two. But we have a beautiful, beautiful baby girl. And she is doing great. She's healthy, she's walking, she's nursing. She's doing all the things that you wanna see. Good job. Mama is bonding perfectly. I think the molasses did the trick. Pretty sure she was just shocked 
and probably in pain from me sticking my arm up or nether regions. But that molasses did the trick and perked her up and got her interested in her baby. You guys, it has been the best kind of day on the homestead. See you in the next video.